Welcome to module three of our employability skills. Today we're going to talk about integrity and professionalism, both in the classroom and in the workplace. So uh, to define professionalism, I think most people uh, think of professionalism as different attributes that people have and how they look and appear professional. Uh, obviously, professionalism comes in many hats and many uh, different formats. But I think if you think if you walked into a doctor's office and they uh, were dressed in, a, in what we might perceive as inappropriate way, it might make us be concerned about the quality of service, etc. So those are some of the things you want to think about. And so here it is talking about the professional image. You know, we have what do you expect in these various prof professions, say a rancher, a law enforcement person? Uh, I think it's important that we try to uh, present ourselves with a professional image. Now, if you imagine the typical work day on your dream, dream job, what would you be wearing? What would your facial expression be? You know, it's great when people seem friendly in, in a happy workplace. How would you interact with your coworkers? Would it be confrontational or would it be supportive? What impressions do you want to leave? You know, you know, the bottom line is your dress and your behavior should enhance your professional skills and qualities, not detract from them. Um, so oftentimes you'll have a job interview. So some tips for professional job interviews. Uh, dress professionally. Sit up straight. Don't slouch. Arrive on time and without... A companion. I would make sure you give yourself 15, 30 minutes of uh, uh, float time to make sure you're there on time. Be cordial to everyone you meet. Speak clearly, firmly, with eye contact. Answer questions confidently, mentioning your strengths and skills when possible. Follow the interview's leads on topics and make sure you thank the interviewer at the conclusion. And, and, and normally most folks will follow up with a uh, written thank you. Um, next thing about the work uh, professionalism is constructive criticism. As we learn and we grow, we'll get criticism and feedback. And the workplace feedback can be uh, redirect. That's where we're trying to replace poor or average behavior with improved. Or it can be the feedback can be to reinforce something we did, did uh, particularly well. Feedback can obviously come from superiors, employees, coworkers. But I think one of the key things is people that give you feedback are trying to help you. So learn to accept feedback without getting defensive. Now, one of the techniques is is a DESC technique. It's deliver feedback uh, effectively so it's well received. So first step is you describe the behavior. You express the impact of that behavior. And you specify new or continued behavior. And, of course, you communicate the consequences. Honesty and integrity, another part of professionalism and integrity. Uh, difficult to, to teach, uh, most of us, uh, but the importance of having integrity. Without integrity, I think you're going to see in the quotes, it's very hard to be an effective leader or team member if people don't trust you. Uh, honesty is the best policy. The alternative dishonesty generally has adverse con consequences, and oftentimes they're an immediate, but they, they will become down the line. Most businesses will have some sort of, or, or schools will have a code of ethics, where they talk about the values, their beliefs, the ethics, the principles of the contact, or the moral code. And the integrity is uh, how well your behaviors align with those ethics. So, uh, and most folks will have this in a professional code of act is written down where groups, and we can uh, check a couple. And lastly, a quote from Dwight D. Eisenhower on the importance of integrity and the importance of trust. So that's uh, module three. Any questions? Thanks.